Shut up. What's going on, people? Really? What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Fat Lad Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What do you mean? Well, normally we kind of upload on Thursdays, not Sundays, you know? Well, yeah, but I just figured... We just figured what? We, we upload on Thursdays, not Sundays. Okay, look, shut up. We're uploading today, because I have a story to tell that lot, okay? So yeah, as I was saying, welcome back to another episode of the Fat Lad Show, where today I'm going to tell you about my new boss. Oh my god. My new boss, she's such a bitch. I'm not even going to blow her out any swear words this time. I might just go in hard on this. So yeah, as I was saying, my new boss, she is a massive bitch. Oh my god, I can't stand the woman. Ugh, ha. So last week was my first day at my new job, and well, I gotta say, it's actually quite fun working in a nightclub. You know, you get to listen to music for free, you get free entry. You don't get drinks for free though. Not when you're picking up glasses. Unless you take a cheeky swig or two. But yeah, my new boss, massive bellend. I've got to put it like that, straight away, simple as. Casual starter there. <laughs> so my first night working there, I've got to go all through legal stuff and, you know, just in case anyone tries to sue me or whatever. Doubt it, I'm too lovable. So once I've done with all the legal stuff and everything like that, I get, I get to meet my new supervisor and I tell you what, she seems like a lovely lady through the few times that I've met her going into there as a customer. And she, yeah, she was alright. I mean, sure, my, my friend constantly moans about her and everything, but, but sure, who doesn't when they're working there? I mean, sure. I mean, my friend does moan about her quite a lot, but who wouldn't work in there with her? I mean, she is a massive bitch. Jesus, she did my nutting on my first day. So yeah, as I met her, she seemed like a lovely lady at the time. I mean, she was just taking me through things, making sure where I knew what was and everything else. And then just coming to the beginning of the night, and she decides to go to me, right, what's this and where does that go? I said to her, well, to be honest, you told me to put that there and then you told me to put this bit there. And she decides to say to me, no, that does not go there. That goes over there. You know where it goes. I showed you it in the first place. I said to her, uh, no, you didn't. You told me to put it there and then you told me to put it over there. But enough of that. Enough of that where's where what crap. I'm going to get to the end of the night when she really pissed me off. Well, actually, no, she didn't piss me off. I more laughed at her face and I pissed her off. <laughs> and here's how I pissed her off. This is what I said to her, these exact words. Well, sorry, I just really don't listen to anyone. And she decides to say to me, out of nowhere, well, that's your own fucking problem, mate. And right there and then, in my head, I'm thinking, I am not your mate. Now, just go away. I'm, I'm not your friend. Jog on. Simple. Go. Don't, don't ever call me your mate. So I barely know you. And I also thought, how dare you swear at me on my first night when I haven't done much wrong. I say much wrong, I kind of screwed up a few things. <laughs> but she didn't even moan about them. She moaned at the little thing that I did do. And then she has the cheek to say, if it's not done my way, then it's not done at all. So I said to her back, well, that's a terrible way of looking at it, don't you think? Now, bear in mind, I shouldn't be arguing with my boss on the first night of my job, but... No one can argue with me. I always get the last word in, no matter what. I even did with, in, with that argument. I won. That's how I see it. And then she decides to go, I tell you what, I've been working here for eight years and I've got three other fucking jobs and I only get three hours worth of sleep. I just replied back with good for you. I thought, good for you, well done. You know, round of applause. You got three other jobs and you can work this one and you've been doing it for eight years. Good for you. Why am I here then? I didn't say the last bit to her. Oh God, I wanted to keep my job. Out of nowhere, she just shut up. She just kept quiet. She went, if you don't listen to anyone, how the hell are you supposed to listen to me? Well, you figured that out, love. You want me to listen to you? Do it right, you know, communicate. Communication is key. Don't know what that was. <laughs> but yeah, communication is key between a supervisor and their employee. Otherwise, you ain't going to get nowhere with them. So now we're going to skip back to last night, Saturday night, where pff, all hell broke loose between me and my boss. So I'm standing there cleaning a couple glasses and my friend's working with me that night. So it was a little less, you know, not as much work for me to do, even though it was really busy because it was a Saturday. And at the end of the month, everyone gets paid and they want to get absolutely off their rocker. What was that? So as I was saying, yeah, everyone wants to get off their rock hard, get absolutely drunk, and just spend all their money that they've earned during that month. But before we're all doing that, she decides to say to me, no. 
But before doing all that, while I'm cleaning all the glasses and stuff, before we have to crack on and I have my little break before I get on with the rest of the night, I asked my friend, is there anything else that needs doing? He says, no, there isn't anything else that needed doing, so why don't you just go ask the supervisor, she might have something for you to do. I go, all right then, fair enough. So as I turn around, she's right behind me, and out of nowhere, she decides to go, you don't ask him for anything, you ask me. I am your supervisor, not him. Just out of nowhere, out of the blue. Bear in mind, there's a bunch of bar staff and there's just people behind her as well, haven't... What, she couldn't have done this in private? I'm trying to humiliate me, I don't think so, love. <laughs> you don't humiliate me. I said to her, you weren't there at the time, I didn't see you. Then out of nowhere, she decides to say to me, he is not your supervisor, I am. If you need anything, you come to me. So I said to her, you weren't there at the time, and I had a question if there were any, if anything else needed doing. And they just pretty much started having to guard me for a bunch of other stupid reasons. And I went to her, well, communication is key, like I said before. And she decides to say to me, well, look who's talking. I went, what do you mean, look who's talking? And she went to me, not once did you ask me a question last night on whether I, whether I needed help or anything. I said to her, well, you didn't exactly ask me to stay there and watch what you were doing now, did you? Even though you said that at the beginning of the night. Bear in mind, I should have listened to her and stayed with her during the middle of the night, like throughout the night and carried on. But not once, when she was busy doing something, not once did she ask me, stay there and watch me do this so that you can learn it for your future, for your future staying here. I went to her, yeah, fine, fair enough. You asked me to do it at the beginning of the night, but throughout the rest of the night, all you did was nothing. Like, what do you expect me to do? Just stand there like a plank? I mean, uh, fair enough I do that now, but I'm not going to do that while I'm doing my job. I'm done. No more. That is it from me, folks. This has been the first ever rant of the Fat Lad Show. If you do want to see more rants or anything else that I'm going to complain about, do hit that like button, because, you know, that might help out. You might want to see more. I don't know. But, yeah, pretty much that was the first rant. I think it went quite well. Of my boss, the bitch. <laughs> But yeah, if you do want to see more, I do upload every Thursday. Do click that like button, you know, <laughs> if you do want to see more rants. Probably of the boss, probably not, you know, whichever you want. But yeah, but if you do have an idea, do let me know. I will create it for you and I will put it, I will post it on the channel for you. You know, it'll be fun. You never know. See, I'm cracking a smile. It could be fun. But enough of that. As always, do like, do subscribe and see ya.